Yeah, right after the Bible, I'm sure, Tyler. Um, the uh, Beige Book offering some, some sense that maybe we're peaking out on inflation and wage increases. I'll get to those in just a second. Uh, economic growth continued in all 12 districts, uh, and it was seen as uh, growth was seen as slight or modest. <clears throat> Four districts reporting growth was slowing. There was some softening seen in consumer demand as well. Uh, there were also uh, some signs that maybe uh, wages had peaked out um, and that uh, there was some moderation in those wage increases as well. Also, some reports of customer pushbacks as well uh, when it came to uh, higher prices. And I'll go through those in just a second here. I'm just uh, waiting to call this up in one second here. Yes, um, there was weakness seen in residential real estate. The labor market difficulties remain the greatest challenges among businesses. Growth expectations, though, Tyler, declined in eight districts. Three districts expressed concern about a recession, actually. And employment did rise modestly or moderately across the board in most districts. Um, but there were some hiring freezes out there. Signs the labor market was uh, tightness was easing, and although worker shortages were set to continue. Wage rate increases were leveling off or edging down in some districts. We haven't heard of that in a very long time. Most districts, though, on the inflation front reported robust price increases. Three districts said they reported moderating price increases, but businesses did retain pricing power. One last thing here. Half of all districts reported some customer pushback when it came to higher prices. So, Tyler, I don't know. Maybe uh, the first signs of inflation easing out there, not necessarily because uh, input prices are down, but because there's some difficulty in passing along higher prices. Also, maybe a sign of some equilibrium beginning to establish itself in the labor market here when it comes to finding available workers and hiring them at a wage that is still profitable for businesses.